welcome to Eukenic. In this video, we're gonna take a look at how to diagnose some Volkswagen electrical issues. So here we're gonna use the Eukenic scanner. This scanner works on basically most almost all makes and models, uh, as you can see here. But we're gonna go down to Volkswagen and select it. And then next we're gonna do. Uh, we can enter the make and model manually, but we can do smart VIN. What that will do is we'll pull the VIN number of the vehicle. And that's going to determine the year, make and model, and load the correct software for for this model. And we want to do that uh, diagnostic, and then uh, quick scan. Quick scan will go through all the control modules that are in the car: engine, transmission, door, AC, um, you know, ABS, all control mode, airbag, and then give you a code for that and a list of issues with that module. And you can click on them and dive in more but in this case we are focusing on uh, a central electronics control system so on a Volkswagen this is one of the control modules that really controls a lot of things anything from lights and doors and things like that we're going to take a look at that so we select that control unit as you can see the car here has like 40 plus control units and we can go into any of them and dive further with codes and clear and test things but we're just focused on central electronic control system or control unit. So we can, of course, read codes. And a lot of times um, the codes right here will give you a real good hint uh, of what's going on with your car. If there's something wrong here. We have codes that are passive means these have happened in the past. They might come and go, but they're not active like this one. Key one, uh, incorrect basic setting or adaptation. So for key one, the uh, driver personal adaptation settings are not set sometimes these codes here maybe don't give you enough information maybe you have let's say lights that don't work and you're not sure if the switch is not working or maybe there's some wiring issue and you want to eliminate the fact that the switch is working or not uh, so we're going to show you how you do things like that but uh, before we dive into that let's take a quick look here you have clear codes you can clear codes from this control module and of course you can go to other control modules and keep clear codes from them but we're focused on the central electro uh, electronics control system um, so we can clear codes here but of course if you don't fix the issue then those codes will come right back so um, we can look at ecu information so if you want to see the software version part numbers and things like that especially for replacing them this is very helpful because you can pull the hardware part number and then search for replacement based on that now here we have live data and then you have you can click custom list so this custom list shows you all the different sensors then you can uh, you can look at the data and see what they're doing so i'm going to select all press ok and then like you can see driver's door door closed you know if i open it door open uh, you can see a uh, key switch not operated interior light switch and there's so much data in here and this is changing live as as you change it as you operate, you know, brake light switch, a lift gate, you open lift gate and see if it's what the car is seeing. And if uh, it's not changing the values here, then it's something you need to dive in deeper. But sunroom, uh, sunroof and things like that. But here's the, uh, the, the good thing about the scanner is not only can we look at this data, but we can actually activate these different components. If we go back here, to the bottom you have active test test this is what's called uh, bidirectional support now you can do a sequence sequential active test where it goes after one after another or you can select whichever one you want to test so you can test the focal lamps so you can actually turn them on with the scanner all these different light sunroof maybe you don't know if the motor is bad or if the switch is bad for the sunroof well you can basically send a signal here for the sunroof to open. If sunroof does not open, um, then you know you have an electrical issue. But if sunroof does open, then you say, hey, the system seems to be working properly. Maybe it's the switch that I need to focus on because the switch is not operating the sunroof. Uh, fuel tank flaps and a horn, for example, you know, your horn doesn't work and you're like, you're not sure. Is it the contacts here that's not working or is the horn out there? Well, we can come in here and then without pressing this, we can activate it right from here. So you can see right there, we press start and this should activate the horn. 
So you can see there that you can activate different things. You can activate wiper motors from the windshield. The hood needs to be closed for that to work. But um, a left turn signal, you can activate it from here. Um, you can go low beams, you can activate um, alarm horn. A fuel pump relay, you can activate that. Um, so you can see there's a seating, closing assistance, basically a lot of things. But this high beams, for example, we can activate the high beams on the car. And you can see the light there on the background. So you can see that. The high beams turning on and turning them off. So you can see this is good though because now you are not sure like if you have the high beam switch here and you're turning it on and they're not working well. Uh, basically, if they are operating when you turn them on here, it means the relay is fine, wiring is fine, bulbs are fine. It's going to be your switch here that's not working then and that's the only thing that's left. So that's how you can uh, diagnose a lot of electrical issues. Electrical issues can be tricky sometimes you need to check wiring and it's good to have a, a multimeter and check resistance and voltages and things like that. But this is a really good uh, starting point that can help you narrow down the issue because before you dive deeper. Um, and that's it. Thank you for watching Mechanic where you can be the mechanic.